I bought these Cherry Jordan 11s for only $53.78, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Hey, my name's Kate, and I've done over two million in sales in the sneaker industry in the last three years, so I know a thing or two about getting shoes cheap, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got these cheap from the Nike Refurbished Program. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the Nike Refurbished Program, how it works, what it is, and how you can take advantage of it. I also get a ton of questions about the Refurbished Program, so I'm gonna be answering the most common ones in this video as well. So let's get right into it. What is the Nike Refurbished Program? So the Refurbished Program started in spring of 2021 and only released at about 15 Nike stores worldwide. And I say worldwide, but all 15 were in the US. And the Refurbished Program is just what it sounds like. Nike takes shoes, cleans them up like these ones, and then sells them again. And you might be thinking, Caden, that's gross. You're buying technically used shoes or defected shoes that Nike's cleaning up. Trust me, it's okay. These shoes are all sanitized and they look really, really good. And believe me, they're really, really good deals as well. From my experience from buying from the first program the last three years, typically these shoes are gonna be anywhere from 50 to 70% under their retail price. And that's before any additional discounts, which we're gonna get into towards the end of this video. So refurbished shoes can come in three conditions, like new, slightly imperfected, and then also slightly used. And these titles will be listed on the box of refurbished shoes. However, from my experience, this is rarely the case. Usually, and I'm saying usually, because this isn't always the case, they come in really, really good condition. I've really never had an issue with most of these shoes, and if I do, I just don't pick them up. So I'm gonna show you guys this shoe for reference. Again, I got this from a Nike outlet that was refurbished. As you can see, you would think the shoe had been worn or beat up, there's nothing wrong with this shoe at all, and this shoe was listed as slightly imperfect. The only sign of wear on this shoe, in my opinion, from what I've seen, is on the collar here, there's a little bit of a crease, like someone tried the shoe on, and then also on the inside here, you can't even barely see it, I doubt you can see it on camera, but there's a little bit of a crease. If you get it in the sunlight, you can kind of see it, but other than that, there's nothing wrong at the bottom at all, no dirt, no dust, I mean, seriously, it doesn't even look like anyone tried this shoe on and walked in it. If you're buying shoes for personal, this is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Again, as you saw, there's really nothing wrong with this shoe. And if you're going to wear it anyways, the first time you wear it, it's going to be way worse than this. But this size 13, which goes for around 300 to 350 right now, that's what you'd be paying. I got it for 53 bucks. So now you're probably wondering where does Nike get these shoes and they refurbish them from? Well, in my opinion, 90% of them are returns that Nike takes and then they clean them up. So for example, on this shoe, I guarantee you someone returned it for whatever reason and then Nike just cleans it out. They might take out all the lint from the sock liner, whatever it is, clean the bottom a little bit. And then again, they go and sell it again. $53, I don't even care if someone ran a mile in this shoe. That would still be a really, really good deal because these used don't even sell below 150. On top of that, the reason I say these mostly come from returns is because Nike has a really solid return policy. They have a 60 day free return policy, even on used shoes. So you could buy the shoe off Nike, let's say, wear it for 60 days, like completely destroy the shoe and return it. I have a really good story about how good their return policy is. So one time in the summer, I was playing basketball and uh, I had basketball outside and it gets really hot where I'm from and I accidentally left my basketball shoes in my car. And for some reason, at least the angle where I was at, it made it like a magnifying glass on my actual shoes. So I come back to the car about two hours later and the entire sole, like this whole part was melted apart. This like foam was melted, like it was bad. The shoe was completely done and uh, the rubber was kind of turning in on itself. That's how hot it got in my car. All right, so anyways, this was about 30 days after having the shoe. Keep in mind, I've already worn this shoe. It completely was destroyed. I returned it to Nike, free return. They give you a label, everything. I got off all my money back and there was no questions asked at all. That's how good their return policy is. Now, obviously you can't take advantage of Nike's return policy, right? Sometimes it will be limited to what you can return. Um, but from my experience, if you read the terms of service, again, most things that you use and you wear, you're able to get a return on it, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so the big question I get, Caden, where do you buy these refurbished shoes? At the time of this recording, there are currently 75 refurbished stores in the US, right? And typically where you find these shoes, when you go into the store, on the back wall, the very back wall of these outlets, there'll be a refurbished section. They'll have a little headline there and it'll say refurbished. And it's just a small part of the wall, okay? If you're wondering what stores there are, I have a link down in the description down below. You can click it and it'll bring you to a webpage that Nike has and it has all the stores listed. So what I recommend doing, go to the link in the description, click that link, I'll have it titled in there. Click it, scroll down and just read through all the different cities and the different states that have it and see if your store has one. I also try to throw up a video or a screenshot on the screen so you guys can see kind of what it looks like so you know what to expect when you go. Again, there's 75 stores. The United States is huge. So there's a good chance you might have one near you. There's also a good chance you won't. When I started out, the nearest Nike outlet to me was four hours away. And that same Nike outlet did have refurbished shoes. But either way, like it was four hours away from me. So it wasn't something I was going to often. But when I did go, I mean, I found good stuff. However, the biggest issue with refurbished is sizing, okay? And why I say that is, let's say you found the shoe for $53. Obviously, it's a good price. But if you wear a size 10, size 13 isn't going to help you. And you never, and I mean never, find duplicate sizes. I mean, because these shoes are just, again, one-off returns. You're never going to find like your size 10 if you found a size 13, which kind of sucks because you might find a shoe that you really like and you really like the price. It's in great condition, 
but again, it's just not your size. So that's why it's important to go frequently and kind of check for your sizes. Um, if you're reselling, I mean, ultimately it doesn't really matter because any size is good and these prices are really good, um, which is why, again, like some people resell them, um, me included, <laughs> but either way, like that's the idea. Some of the sizes aren't gonna be the best. Refurbished shoes restock at random times, so it completely depends when you go. I recommend building relationships with employees there, just talking to them saying, hey, when's the next time you get a refurb shipment? They might not even know either, but that's why it's important to just kind of go consistently. Plus, again, if you're going consistently, you'll be able to have way bigger advantage over anyone else who doesn't. I will say this, the refurbished section is not very big. Again, it maybe takes out 10% of the store, if that. And because of that, these shoes sell out really quickly because a $53 Jordan 11 isn't gonna sit there forever. Obviously, anyone you know who sees this shoe and sees that deal is probably gonna pick it up. In fact, someone actually had the shoe in their hand and I saw them put it back and then I went and grabbed it because they didn't want it. And it was literally that close before someone else bought it. Okay, so I'm telling you, these shoes do go really, really quickly, which is why I'm telling you it's important to go consistently. I told you guys earlier in this video that the Ferber shoes are already discounted 50 to 70%. That's not all the discounts. You can actually use additional discounts on top of that. For example, right now, Nike's back wall, which is their clearance wall, is having 40% off. Meaning, if this shoe was $100, you'd be able to get $40 off on top of that and any other discounts that you got on top of that. So now you're paying only $60 for a shoe that might retail 200, which is why your is crazy. And inside my reselling accelerator group, we actually help our guys get additional discounts, which is why I'll get an additional 15% off on top of this, which again, after all the discounts, that's why I was able to pay $53. This shoe at the Nike outlet, I believe was like 114, 111. And that's what it, they had it at the sticker. But the Nike outlet had 30% off the back wall and 20% off all footwear. And then I added another 15% off on top of it. And I believe those were the codes that I used to be able to get it down to 53 bucks. Again, you guys saw the screenshot of what I paid. If you are interested in reselling, you wanna grow your business, wanna work with me, I highly recommend checking out my reselling accelerator down below in the link in the description. We are currently on wait list. Our wait list opens up on June 8th. So as long as you're, as you're in the wait list before then, you'll be able to get into the group. Um, but yeah, that's my quick plug for that. Check it out if you have any questions. So again, that's how I paid $53 for these. The price was already low. Again, it was already 50% under retail. But using those extra discounts that any of you guys can get, you can get it even lower. Sadly, you might be one of those people saying, Caden, is there a website? There is no website for refurbished. There was one last year. About six to nine months ago, Nike launched the refurbished website, but ultimately it was a really bad idea. I'll tell you why. You were buying the shoes based off stock images. So you might be buying a pair of Jordan 11s that you think is a really good deal, but it could have had a huge gash in it when it got home. And you would have no idea because they didn't have any actual photos of the shoe. And there was very little stock. In my opinion, it was just a really bad idea that they did it. So they ended it after not even two months. So unfortunately, if you don't have a first store near you, uh, you can't really take advantage of this. Again, it's really only an in-person thing, which in my opinion makes it better because if you're actually taking in the time and the effort to go in store, you're gonna find the best deals. Also, one big tip, I really recommend this. Make sure you inspect the shoes before you leave, right? I've had multiple times where I've bought in shoes that I didn't expect at the store, refurbished or not, and then I get home and then there's something wrong with it, right? So there's been some refurbished shoes where I just see it, it's a really good deal, so I go and buy it, and then I go home and I check the bottom, and I'm like, crap, the bottom's actually really, really, really worn. This isn't an example of one, but it's happened to me in the past. So if you're buying a shoe for personal or resell or whatever, make sure you check it in the store, especially refurbished, because you don't ever wanna buy a shoe and then it has those problems and then you feel screwed. Plus, one other thing I forgot to mention, Nike's been doing this recently with refurbished shoes. This one doesn't have it, but what they'll do is they'll put a black ink stamp on the inside with the letter R, so that way you know it's an actual refurbished shoe. Again, this one doesn't have it, so I, I wish I could show you, uh, but that's something that they do, so just pay attention to that. And if you're wondering if it affects resale value or anything, it really doesn't. Again, I personally wear these shoes a lot and I have no issues with them either. So again, just, just take it as it is. So please check the quality before you leave. I don't want you to buy a Air Max and then the bubbles pop. You know, just take 30 seconds, look over the shoe, try it on if you want, even whatever it is, uh, but just do that. And keep in mind, you're still buying it from the Nike outlet. So you still have that 60 day free return policy. It works on the refurbished shoes, right? And you don't even have to return it to the same store. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I'd rather you be, you know, not have to go through that hassle in the first place. But that's really all the info you guys need to know about the refurbished program. Hopefully I answered a lot of your guys' common questions that you've had about it. Um, again, it's something that's really, really cool. It's been around for three years. I could see Nike continuing to expand it because it's just a way they can make more money, right? Typically when they got returned shoes, I'm guessing they'd have to throw them out or I don't even know what they would do for it. Maybe donate them, but this is a way that they can continue to sell them and the consumers like it because again, we're getting really good deals on it. So I highly recommend you check it out. And it honestly is more of a volume thing. Just go consistently. You'll find good deals because you never quite know what's going to be there unless you have an in-store monitor like us. So one of the tools we have in our accelerator group is we have a Nike in-store monitor. So you can see what's at the Nike outlet before you even go. That gives you a little bit of advantage, but again, you don't need that to be successful. Just go frequently, you'll find some good stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned a thing or two, and I hope you have a blessed week. See you around.